everything you know about brisket. A lot of mistakes, there's so many, how do we pick one? <laughs> we are in Burlington to check out Smoking Dad Barbecue. He's gonna tell us how he got started on social media. I'm Joe Friday, and this is Beyond the Blade. Oh, wow, look at a fire going on? Yeah, I'm ready for you. <laughs> how you Welcome doing? Nice yeah, good to, yeah, good to see you too. We're gonna have barbecue. How'd you get that name? One of those things that was funny before uh, you put it on social media, and now every time someone's like, yeah, hey, what's your channel? You gotta say it out loud and like, smoking dead barbecue. So you stuck, basically. It's stuck, yeah. How did this all get started? What I really noticed in myself is just like, how do you create these things? Amazing chefs share recipes. Mm -hmm. No one really says, hey, set your grill to 300. How do you do that? That's just where you need to be. And to recreate some great barbecue at home, I had friends, family struggling with the same thing and thought, if I can figure it out, it can help them figure it out. More people to enjoy barbecue with. <laughs> Have any color in your background, by the way? No, no, no color in your background. So you just like like barbecue, you figure it out. Figured it out. What did you do before all this? We like restaurants, so we'd go out try and experience. We always loved food, mm -hmm. uh, but just maybe the last twenty years, starting to say, hey, how can I recreate this or you know find things that I'm really interested in? They're hard to find in yeah. restaurants, depending on what you have in your area. Yeah, a lot of fun and enjoyment comes out of making it home and sharing it with others. And so we love opening up our home and having guests, and mm -hmm. that goes perfect with barbecue. <laughs> I make a lot of barbecue myself. Do you find when you first started all the challenges of actually keeping the smoke, a lot of advice is really good advice for one style of smoker. Mm -hmm. So for example, the advice of, you know, do ribs 321 and 200, 225, that's actually great on my offset. Okay. If I try applying it to something like a, a Kamado style cooker where they're really energy efficient, that advice just doesn't translate always to different smokers. And so, yeah, I'd think early on I fell for the, before YouTube was a thing, <laughs> yeah. relying on books is uh, figuring out what's great advice for what style of smoker, what translates, what doesn't, and then how do we fill in gaps if there are any. What's the most memorable, like, I guess, mistake that you learned um, in the whole process of making barbecue? Probably biggest mistake is over, over smoking. When I first started, the kind of the inspiration for the channel is going back to my first Thanksgiving where I got the the keys to cooking the turkey, having our extended family over. The recipe I saw had called for a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. you know, get wood chips, get them wet, uh, which I no longer do. And absolutely every 30 minutes, just keep covering it with smoke. I remember the disappointment on the family's face as we tried to uh, you know, choke it down and cover it up with enough gravy. Over smoking, just like over seasoning is probably one of the biggest learnings. Smoke is something that enhances the flavor of what we're cooking, complements it, makes it different than maybe another experience you've had, but at the same time, doesn't like rob it of its unique characteristics. So barbecue sauces, what's your favorite style of barbecue? How about your top three? First, I love mixing and matching, you know, different things. I love like just playing with different recipes and getting what flavors bounce off of one another. So like something like Alabama white sauce, mm -hmm. got a lot of that sort of bite a little bit of heat, I love the heat. I like injecting things. So we did a compound rosemary, garlic, butter. And so you get some of that savory herb on your mouth and then you get the punch and it just comes together. It's Isn't it so good. In the States, if you go in the States, there's ribs, there's pulled pork, there's chopped pork, but anywhere else is like Texas style. Why do you think that is? Hey, it's great. The gold standard of what people are striving for is well known. I think people like Aaron Franklin have brought a lot of visibility to brisket. So that just gets a lot of attention. It's like, okay, if this is what they're cooking in Texas, how do I make it at home? So it's the universal love language of barbecue, if you will. So you never, you don't have any dreams or aspirations to become like a restaurant owner. I like helping people make great barbecue at home, teaching people how to do it. Yeah. If they go to a restaurant and say, I want to recreate this experience that I had, it was awesome, but maybe I don't live near there. I can't get there all the time. Yeah. How do I do it at home and share it with friends and family? That's, that's where my passion is. Appreciate everyone who does the restaurants. Too. <laughs> 
bark. Let's talk about bark. Yeah, not the tree bark, folks. The brisket bark. That's right. How do you get that perfect, perfect brisket bark that's just like undeniable? What is the perfect cooking technique for that? I love a couple things uh, on my bark and I change it depending on what grill we're, we're going with. Each one has sort of different attributes. So on my offset, lots of heat and air rolling over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really easy. But one of my favorite things is to, again, build layers of, you know, flavor. And so I like Costco here sells uh, choice grade briskets. So I like trimming them the day before, rendering that fat into tallow and injecting it into the flat. Helps upgrade it to more like a prime grade brisket. So that's kind of the first step. The dry brine overnight, my second favorite thing to do, because that again, not only helps with a great bark, but really accentuate the flavor of the brisket. Salt, pepper, garlic, maybe a couple chili flakes, and just have that all come together mm -hmm. and let the smoke be the hero for the bark. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Dive in, we get this piece right here. Nice and look at that guys, look at that. Mm. This is absolutely muy caliente. Mm. Delicious. We just got to talk to Smoking Dad Barbecue. Learned so much about brisket, ribs, sauce, and rubs. Beyond the Blade, check us out. We out.